for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the white trunks trimmed with black. Fighting out of the blue corner from the United States of America. Wearing the black trunks trimmed with black. Mike Tyson! So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. Which fans are going to be happy? Which fans are going to be sad? I don't know, but it's the argument I love. No doubt about it, this was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. And there's the bell to start the round. <laughs> of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. There was so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. Situations like this sort of like make or break or fight because of the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. <laughs> Swing and a miss with the jab. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Is that a match made in heaven? The stamina is off the charts. Good looking jab. You're finding a counter puncher, the faint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're gonna punch, make the counter puncher pull a punch, and then you counter them. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Oh, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Three, come on, suck it up, suck it up. Put your breath back, listen. You're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not. They ring the bell, and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this one is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He just misses with that jab. Nice right hook. The artist has been dropped. And as you can see here, a picture 
perfect punch did the trick. Where did that come from? What a shot. Can't believe they managed to beat the count, but that could be the last hurrah. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. He's got the advantage halfway through the round. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a team, play the plan out to a team. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. The stamina is off the charts. The jab doesn't quite connect. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. A good counter punch. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump all over. He's ready to... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength. The preparation is how you are going to deal with this. When you're training to fight a swarmer, you've got to focus on your conditioning because they will push you to the edge of your limits. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. That counter shot left. Jab not finding its target. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but has to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas. Is he going to punch himself out, though? The jab doesn't quite connect. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. about a one-sided three minutes we just saw it. dominance without a doubt made it look so so easy they ring the bell and here we go after a really strong round let's see if they can finish the job Todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. We're both looking for the knockouts here, and that's what we expect from heavyweights. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just it's enough, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? A 
a lot of effort being exerted here. No rest for the weary. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. It's all offense all the time. I want to think of holding on here for a minute. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. We know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put up. And there's the bell to start the round. And Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Incredible work rate. with that jab. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this battle? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. The counter lands. A swing and a miss with that jab. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Three, three, come on, suck it up, suck it up. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Deciding to let it all hang out here in this round. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. He's always looking for that KO. And we could see an upset right here. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Well, he's firing back now. Sometimes offense can be your best defense. 
what recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely done. I thought there's no way to the finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed back on it. Like it never happened. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do you do? What do they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? The referee taking a look here. And if the fighter can't see, the fighter can't fight. Are you okay? So the referee says, fight on. What the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Every time, it, as bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Come on, suck it up, suck it up. Take your breath back, listen. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Starting to take some deep breaths now, but still fighting hard. Nice counter shot. Down goes the artist. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. Cuts lights out right there. So he's back up on his feet, but can he get back into this fight? Todd, he's up. I I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. It's a good start to the round for this guy. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Nothing back here in the round. <laughs> Defense is not an option for these two. <laughs> this fighter expending a lot. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. <laughs> He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Mate, he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump all over him. He's ready to hey, That's what I'm talking about. They ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. This is the heavyweight division. One punch could end this fight. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Well, they're going deep into the gas tank on this round. We're at the half.
halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped this fight considering the swelling and the bruising. And yep, that's gonna do it. Time was of the essence, and it was a matter of time when this happened. Complete and total domination, and another stoppage win. What's next? A TKO makes it so confusing because you think, what would have happened if the fight had carried on? These guys are going to have to do it all over again. Because the TKO, to me, it doesn't tell us the full story.